Hello Samir, I just stopped by to see you about Dinesh. He has been in remedial class for the last five years, and now he will be in my class this year. Madam Kavita had him last year, and she said you have all the test information on him. Hello Sujata, please come on in. Yes, in fact, I was just reviewing his folder. Dinesh's mathematics cluster score on the test is at the 6th percentile, and his reading cluster is at the 1st percentile. Good luck with him. Boy, he sure is low. I guess that's why he has been in the remedial classroom for so long. You have got it. Well, really that's about what I was expecting. What about his skill levels? What do you mean? You know, his academic skill levels. Oh, his grade levels. Um, let's see. His mathematics grade equivalent is 2.6, and his reading grade equivalent is even lower, 1.7. Well, that's not really what I need to know. I know he is way below grade level, but I am wondering about his skills, specific skills, that is. You know, like what words he can read, what phonetic skills he has, if he can subtract two digit numbers with regrouping. Things like that. Sujata, what more do you need that what I have given you? Don't you know how to interpret these scores? Samir, I do know what these scores mean, but they only compare Dinesh to other students. I'm not interested in that. I want to know what he can and can't do, so I can begin teaching him at the proper skill level. Look, he's at the first grade level in reading at the second grade level in math. Isn't that enough? But what level of mastery has he demonstrated? Mastery? He's years behind. He's mastered very little. Look, after watching this conversation between the teacher and counselor, you can understand that there is a communication problem between Sujata and Samir. Samir has conveyed a lot of test information to Sujata teacher, yet she does not seem to get much out of it. Counselor Samir is frustrated, Sujata is frustrated, and little that will help Dinesh has been accomplished. What is the problem? The problem appears to be Samir's. Sujata's questions refer to competencies or mastery of skills. We can observe that she is interested in information about Dinesh's level of proficiency. But Samir's answers refer to test performance compared to other students, which means information about Dinesh's rank compared to others. Answers to Sujata's questions can come only from a test designed to indicate whether Dinesh exceeded some state or school district standard of performance taken to indicate mastery of some skill. And you might note that the information Samir provided was normative or comparative. Dinesh's grade equivalent scores allow decisions involving comparisons between his performance and that of the typical or average performance of learners in a norm group. Dinesh's grade equivalent score of 1.7 in reading indicates his reading ability equals that of the average first grader after 7 months in the first grade. It says nothing about which words Dinesh knows, nor does it give any information about the process he uses to read new words or how long it takes him to comprehend what he reads or to learn the meaning of new words. All that this score indicates is that his ability to read is well below that of the average of his classmates.